Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Painted Soldier podcast. Uh, it is, yeah, almost three o'clock today, Wednesday, July 24th. Um, yeah, it's been a little bit since I did a podcast. I think I did one last week at some point, but I had some things coming to me earlier today and um, something else I wanted to share with everybody. We got our I'm doing this video too here on you on my YouTube thing, but we got our Painted Soldier Ministry shirts. Just showing everybody. I don't know if you can see it. I'll put pictures up later. But uh, yeah, we'll be selling them. Uh, I got some trips coming up. Um, I got a trip to, well, I'm leaving for South Dakota. Um, on next Friday, I'm heading up to Bloomsburg, spend the night there, and then leave out early Monday or early Saturday morning to head to Sturgis, South Dakota. And I come back, I got uh, a youth conference that I'll be doing for a church out of Queens, New York. And then, um, I'm trying to think, then I'm home for a few days for my birthday. I think I told you guys all this stuff anyhow. Then Port Allegheny for Break the Chains Festival with those uh, awesome people there. That'll finish up my August. And then I got in September, I'm heading out to, this is a new uh, thing I just found out a couple of days ago. I'll be heading back to the Navajo Nation out in Pinedale, New Mexico. Um, out there and then finishing up the College of Prayer campus at the end of September in Williamsport. And then uh, doing Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, as far as I know, I mean, that's pretty much a, a locked in, but it's I don't have my ticket yet to get to that. And then Shane and I will be heading to Florida. I got a wedding to do for a, a real close friend and uh, visit some other friends and possibly get into some ministry. If you're in that area and you uh, are looking for a preacher on a Sunday or something, uh, hit me up. I will be in the um, Orlando area, I imagine. And then the last three days there, uh, we'll be in the Daytona area. I don't even know the, the dates off the top of my head, but if you're interested in November at some point or whatever, hit me up. Other than that, I might as well get to this podcast that's been on my heart. Um, you know, with everything going on, uh, on the news, they got this stupid hearing thing again, um, wasting our tax money on um, these, you know, questioning the same guy. Wait, well, let's hire a guy to question this guy. Oh, I don't like his answers. Now we're going to question him about why he questioned it. So, but anyhow, it's Chewbacca. And I call everything that's, you know, how Chewbacca talks. Him. He might as well say that because none of it makes any sense. But it does make plenty of sense. And um, we'll get to it here in a second. Uh, but I wanted to, to tell you about something. So when I was listening to this, and then this morning, uh, there was like the first person uh, who successfully... Uh, went from male to female, like completely. Um, genitals were switched and everything, and um, they're calling this person a pioneer for the future. And uh, man, when I heard that, and listen, I have some friends um, right now who are going through some issues, going through some uh, gender identification things on Facebook, and, um, you know, just going through some things. Listen, I'm not, uh, I'm not throwing this directly at you, um, but I'm just going to state some things here um, that we really need to address. And uh, so when I walked away and I got into the bathroom, I was getting ready for work this morning and, uh, and, the, and what came to me was wrestling with reality. You know, um, people nowadays, the, the world is changing. People are changing like this. Um, there's more anger, more hate. There's uh, just all kinds of craziness going on. I saw that New York City had passed a law of like a vigilant law that you cannot declaw your cats. I love cats. Um, that's great. But in a, in, a, in a state where it's legal to kill a baby up until the, the moment of birth, and which I'm sure they're killing them after the moment of birth, um, but it's illegal. You go to, you know, you get arrested and fined, or maybe go to jail for declawing your cat, but you can kill a baby. Crazy, absolutely crazy. Um, you know, we're we're declaring war on on rights, on specific people's rights. Um, it's absolutely bananas to me. Um, 
it's going maybe people do need more rights maybe people are struggling we got some things that are going on uh, but how we're going about it is guaranteed to fail uh, you may get your rights you may get your laws passed but it won't matter anyhow because this country is going to fall apart um, go completely it's going to be crashed guaranteed um, write that down another prophecy that i just gave you guys uh, it's, it's coming down and when it comes down it's coming down hard um, you know but man i didn't even expect to go there in the very beginning but um when this came to me i was thinking about uh there's there's some people um who are like very anti-god you know like i see a lot of stuff like there is no god these stupid people there's do you're living in a fairy tale these people believe the bible and jesus it's a fairy tale and then uh uncle fester dies and they're like see you in heaven uncle fester well if you don't believe in any of this stuff like what is what no you won't if if there's no heaven there's no god uncle fester is just in the ground in a box um, if that's what, if that's what you believe, then you know what is going on. Well, I'll tell you what's going on. Uh, you're wrestling with reality. Like there is, uh, there's a force that's acting on this earth, and it's evil, and it is deceptive, and it makes uh, the the it's it makes the people that it is influencing believe that you can do what you want, and it's okay. And um, man, I'm telling you. It is so amazing to see all the different things that are going on. Um, you know, California changing the manholes. No, that's like, that's offensive. It's not a manhole. That's gender. And um, yeah, there's a bunch of craziness going on right now. And uh, it's a stinking hole that goes into the, like, who gives a crap about that thing? About the name of it? We have so much going on. We have people dying of addiction. We have people starving to death. Um, we have a government that is attempting to, re not even attempting, succeeding in dividing us and putting us in, um, wow, like you don't even know what's going on right now. And this isn't conspiracy theory. Dude, they're all on the same side. Uh, Democrat, Republican, uh, all of them are on the same side. Either way, you ain't getting nothing good from who, I don't care who you vote for, nothing's good. You're deceived if you think that there's going to be a president that comes in and takes care of everything and the, and the country is going to get better. There's not a, not a hope in this world of a person who's going to make it better. The only thing that, that there is going to be peace. Uh, the Bible talks about there will be someone who brings peace, but he will also be the Antichrist. So when everyone's following him, he is going to, uh, then he's going to turn up the heat and basically you sold your soul to the devil and you're going to be paying for that. So, um, but you can clearly see uh, I, and another thing I saw, I saw a video of some police that were getting water dumped on them in New York City. And they said that um, because of the heat, uh, not the heat outside the temperature, but because of um, all the, the legal stuff that's going on right now um, with a few things, I guess they choked a guy and he was like, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. And then he ended up dying. Well, first of all, if you are saying, I can't breathe, you're breathing. That's one thing I learned in CPR, dude. If people are talking, don't start putting your mouth on them and start blowing in them and punching them in the chest and stuff to get them to breathe. If they're talking, they're breathing. You know what I'm saying? So that was Chewbacca. He died from some other stuff. But anyhow, it's getting to the point where the police are no longer the authority. So there is no authority. So where there is no authority, there is chaos. Where there is chaos, right, there is, there is death. There's all kinds of craziness and falling apart wrestling with reality that is the reality that is going on but let me tell you something i got something better for you i'm not going to take this very long today um so and i may have spoke about this before but i don't care because it ties into this one right here uh, i heard a, a very good teacher uh, say that there is a difference between what is true and the truth um so what is true right now is this place is falling apart this place is, um, it's crazy. Dude, if you think for one minute that you, if your life's a mess, that you'll be happier if you switch genitals and cut your hair and your voice is, is darker or your voice is deeper 
or vice versa, or if you lose your genitals and you make your voice higher, if you think it's going to get any better, uh, the suicide rate for gender uh, dysphoria or the gender change is way higher than normal people. I forget what it is. We looked it up because we have some issues. We're ministering to some people right now in the midst of that. Um, if you think that your life will be better uh, with your cat's claws on than not, or if you think your life will be better with a baby dead instead of that, um, that is that you're being deceived. So that may be, um, that may be what you see as what is true. And the, tr and the truth is people are killing babies. People are declawing or calling their cats. People are changing genders. But here's, here's what I believe with all my heart what is true. That Jesus can redeem this. He is coming back. He has a plan for this place. And there's going to be a day where every single person is accountable for their own actions and for what they've done to other people. Mark my words, there will be a day of, of not just, I'm not even gonna use judgment, because it is judgment, but there'll be a day when you have to explain yourself before someone for your actions here on this earth. I'm gonna get to that, how that finishes in a second. Let me just give you, if you're a little confused right now, so back in 2008, what was true about my life was I was a mess. Um, I was divorced for the second time. I was on drugs. I was drinking. My life was spiraling. My daughter wouldn't talk to me. I didn't get to see my son that much. And not for the same reasons now because we live further away and some things. Uh, what was true is my life looked like I was either heading to jail or going to die. But the truth that was written about me, that my name was written in the Lamb's Book of Life, that Jesus had a plan for me before I was even born, that there was going to be a time when my circumstances and my consequences brought me to a place where I could no longer stand on my own two feet, and that I would need the assistance, the help, the grace, the mercy of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That was what was true. And if you, if, what, what the truth is, if you just saw what was true in 2009, because all that stuff was true, uh, you'd have had no idea that the truth was going to win out. The truth. Jesus says that I am the truth the way and the life. No one comes to the Father except for me. He says in John 8, and may, may, a lot of people say, um, the truth will set you free. That's not even what the scripture is about. Scripture says this, if you remain in my teachings, then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. So it's not just the truth that will set you free. The teachings of Jesus will set you free. There is nothing going on in this world right now that Jesus didn't cover in the Bible, that he didn't um, set a path for or set a way for. So when he says that he is the truth, everybody who's out there who is looking at what is true in their life right now, and it's a mess, there is a deeper truth to your life. It's not worth giving up on. It's not worth making drastic uh physical changes it's not worth killing a child if you're pregnant and you don't know where to go with it there are there's help out there uh, that you can go and there's plenty of adoption uh I'm, plenty of places you can go to to get them adopted um if you hate life if you're depressed there's people to talk to and the truth is things get better because now i want to tell you i i filled you in a little bit in the beginning there but what is true about my life today uh, is I have a beautiful wife. I have peace in my life. And, it, and, and listen, th that peace doesn't depend on my circumstances. My circumstances uh, not so long ago were I was sick. I couldn't eat real, really well. I lost a bunch of weight. Um, Crohn's disease was kicking my butt. Um, 
yeah, things just weren't, weren't good at all, but I still had peace. Uh, I have, um, man, I have great friends. I have a lot of people um, that I get to talk to uh, on a regular basis that uh, I would have never, ever talked to in my old lifestyle. Uh, God has restored a lot of things. The truth is, uh, what is true right now is, yeah, I don't have a relationship with my daughter, but the, the real root and the truth behind all that is that one day we will be reconciled and um, I'm standing on that stuff. That's the, that is what is good. So, so what was true before is no longer true. That's the past. You'll read about that in the book that's uh, in, in uh, editing, first stage of editing right now. I have a, a dear friend of mine reading through it and um, making some adjustments in that. And, uh, but anyhow, so true, what is true changes in your life. That's reality. So we're wrestling with reality. What is re what reality is and what is true will change in your life, but the truth will never change. And uh, if you'd have told me that in 2008, if, if you were me in 2000, if, yeah, if you were speaking to the old me right now and you said, well, the truth is Jesus died for your sins and you can have a better life by trusting in him, putting all your eggs in his basket and saying, here you go. You said that you have a way that you've redeemed things, that you've made things right for me. And uh, no matter what my circumstances are, even if things are bad, you're going to give me peace. Peace that surpasses all understanding. Where is it, Jesus? I guarantee you today, right now, this is the other guarantee, the America's fallen. Uh, here's the second guarantee. That if you turn your life and submit it to Christ, you will have peace. Right now, I'm ministering to a young man who is in, who is in prison. And... Um, he was on the run for a little while. He has more peace now in prison than he had when he was on the run. And I'll tell you why. Because he is, not only is he pursuing Christ and trusting Christ, but he is, um, get, did I, trusting Christ? Yeah, I said that. All right. He is getting prepared for a career in ministry, not just a career, but a, to do ministry, to help those who are in the position that he's in now and was in before. And uh, so I know that that peace can be in any circumstance. I have friends um, from an organization that I run with that are in different countries that face persecution, and they are still, they have that same peace. It doesn't matter. People who have lost their loved ones that are in Christ, they have peace knowing uh, that if they remain in him, they will be together again for eternity. So if you're wrestling with reality today, take a step back. Is what we're seeing, what reality is today is not even reality. It's a smoke and mirrors and uh, there's a better reality waiting for you as there is, uh, as there was for me. And um, the truth is that in Jesus, there is hope. He is the hope. He is hope. Um, this world offers no hope. Jesus offers uh, the only hope that will stand. Uh, every other hope that we have will eventually fail. But um, yeah, I think that's what I wanted to say. I think that's all I needed to talk about today. So guys, uh, thank you for listening to the Painted Soldier podcast. Um, don't forget to get your Painted Soldier ministry shirt. Uh, hit me up on my Facebook page or the ministry page if you're interested in one. I'll have some pictures of them up there soon. And um, yeah, check us out at The Painted Soldier on YouTube. And yeah, email me, paintedsoldierministry at gmail.com. Keep an eye out on my personal Facebook page for pictures and videos of the ministry opportunities that I'll be having here coming up in the near future. If you want to support one of them, hit me up also. Um, on our webpage, email me, or, or even on Facebook. Um, it'd be, it would be awesome to get there and uh, take the strain off the places I'm going. So, all right. So, all right. That's the end of that. That's the Painted Soldier podcast for today. Thanks again for listening. Um, go bless somebody. Uh, be the hands and feet of Christ. Love your enemies. Pray for your enemies. Bless those who curse you. And uh, love your neighbor as yourself.
All right, guys, thanks a lot for joining me, and I'll talk to you later.